Nijisanji Defenders Master Report the Luka document. Hollow Live rents out a castle for the third gen 3D Live. Doki Bird is in an Apex tournament, and so much more coming up. We take a look at Razia Warmanik, who was the one who recently put out the document on Luka Kaneshiro. The very damning document on Luka Kaneshiro with a lot of proof, a lot of evidence, a lot of receipts, and it is getting a lot of traction. What happened recently is that it was knocked out. Uh, their Google Docs form has said, we're sorry we can't access this item because it is in violation of terms of service. Someone marked it for harassment and bullying, I believe. And she says right here, after my experience with Java, two hours ago, I did not take down the document. It has been reported and forced to go offline. While I wait for a review on it, there are other ways to access the document. There's the full PDF here. And there's also in the form of false ID, which is a large news VTuber. People call him a drama tuber, but I call him a news VTuber who is who looked at uh, the whole thing, helped Raziella, from what I understand, make the document and helped her get it out there for everybody. So, of course, take a look at his video. You could take a look at my video, whichever video you want to look at it is out there. I made sure to look at the specific Google Docs that it has attached to it because I had a feeling that this was going to happen. Now, uh, she moves on to say, you know, someone says this file looks suspicious, Google itself, and then re requesting a review. He says, why? Well, I think this may be the first in Google Doc history. This does not dissuade me, however. So she's not dissuaded uh, because it says restricted file, the irony. You can continue to view and edit and download this file, but it cannot be accessed by or shared by with other users. While this restriction is in place, you may see a banner at the top of the document alerting you to those limits. These restrictions were put in place because the content violates Google Drive's harassment, bullying, and threats policy. The irony of it, because she is talking about Nidhi Sanji's, you know, bullying, harassment, and threats, which they already have done against her, the um, harassment that Luca has done against others, the harassment that is within the organization, and the fact that the Niji sisters and Niji defense forces have decided to mass report her for bullying harassment and threats when their organization that they are protecting is doing the exact same thing people here are responding to it skuma says a little too late to try and silence her there are several backups in the file already floating around the internet for everyone to see here's one of them which is a web.archive.org uh which i'll link to in a little bit time to teach some people the meaning of stry sand effect thankfully false id did a video on it he's the big one that's been doing a video on it he as long as his video stays up i think we're all safe on that part uh they could try to knock his video down since it is the largest video out there but many other people have spoken about it as well like the press no soggy you have rima evanstar who did a video on it uh, not a video but in a live stream on it you have other large creators who have done it as well it says too late needy sisters the information has already been covered by several big name news channels all you're doing here is adding oil to the fire which they are Thankfully, I have a backup link, the web.archive.org, which is this one here. It is all backed up here, as you can see. So no matter what they try to do, they uh, if it's archived, it's going to be hard to do it. The Shrysan effect means that you cut off one head of the Hydra, 15 others will pop up pretty much. It says, uh, Niji fans are defending their black company and still expecting people to forget about it. This time, you're going to push it under the rug. Your S pre-recorded concert is not going to save your branch. Talking about the AR Live that's going to be happening. It's only to save what little shame the company has left. And Packwatch basically rip bozo, rest in peace, you won't be missed. Anyone who can't see the doc anymore because Nidhi Sisters probably reported it to hide the truth. Watch the most recent false ID video. He goes over the entire document in depth and also provides some additional context. Because, of course, like I said, he helped her out in, in how to properly put it through, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that. Another case of Shrysan effect. Nobody learns, do they? Uh, I doubt it is a first given the fact that this feature exists. Why would they keep a feature in something like old Google Docs if it never gets used? Granted, this is the first case of it on a well-known document, probably. Yeah, there's probably like other actual doxing documents that happen that probably have harassment, bullying, etc. going on. So that is that is something that does happen. But uh, in this case, I don't think that it was done in an altruistic form. I think it was done more because people were angry. The people who defended you, Sanji, were angry. And here are more posts within the Kudo Sanji subreddit talking about the Razia Luka document that has been taken out down for violating TOS. A copy exists, so the archive download it quick. Basically, that's the, the first one that I showed. Here's the Google Docs image of it showing you cannot access this item because it is uh, against terms of service right here, a little bit bigger photo. And uh, basically, people in Kurosanji have made a copy of the Luca statement if people are interested. Down below, it says, wait, Google Doc has TOS? Seems like the NDF is at it again and false reporting stuff. Considering how many questionable things I've seen on Google Docs, I'm surprised too. I guess being reported, honestly. Yeah, there's a lot of weird things on Google Docs, a lot of things that shouldn't be on Google Docs that I've heard about. Um, and yeah, some, some questionable things that are actual doxing. 
And in those cases, it's like, since no one reports it, it's not a big thing. It's between a couple of people. It doesn't get through. Uh, but since this one is a big one and you have a lot of parasocial fans that are going after Raziel and anyone else who's talking about it, there's going to be issues popping up, of course. It's not, I'm not really that deep into VTuber scene. Re read the document yesterday. <clears throat> And when I saw this here, the document is no more. I looked and yes, you can re report even Google documents on the Google Drive Terms of Service page. When you look to the right, you see the third point from the above report of violation. And these points can be found spam, violence, hate speech, terror, you know, content, harassment, <clears throat> explicit material, exploitation, impersonation, activities that aren't against the law. You know, that type of thing. Maybe personal and confidential information. They do have NDAs. Apparently, like I said, you showed before, it was for harassment and bullying. Uh, so that was just the weirdness of the whole situation. And people, of course, like I said, are putting copies of the document out there. They're making sure that everyone has some way of seeing it. I get, again, I say the Streisand effect has taken full effect in this case, and it will continue to do that every single time the Needy Sisters and Needy Defenders go on a rampage and try to take something down. Like when Needy Sanji tried to take down False ID and Kyo's video, K-H-Y-O, back then they were doing copyright strikes on anything that held a Needy Sanji liver's face. So that they tried that at one point in time. All it did is bring the Streisand effect into effect again. Should have titled it better. The document from Raziel's statement. Uh, during the original download period, why did you choose PDF format? I would other format be better. Edit. Okay. Tested it out with a uh, dummy GDoc file. Assuming it's original GDoc. On mobile, it will be PDF. On de desktop, it will be DocX within the document. You can pick doc DocX, ODT, RDF, you know, all these different types. So I guess archive purpose PDF is the best choice. That the Streisand effect commence. Another web.archive one of the Google Doc. Uh, basically, people did it before it got taken down because I think they knew that the Nidhi Sanji Defense Forces would be very angry at what has happened and they would absolutely do their very darndest to knock it down. Absolutely would. Remember, kids, there's only one truth. Anyone who says otherwise belongs in solitary confinement. The update by Raziel. Uh, let's see if there's an update an hour ago. Any updates right here? Oh, that's basically the same one that I said before. And uh, Nidhi Sanji is trying to hide the Luka Kanashiro story. Of course, it's the biggest story right now. It's the huge one that pretty much I think this is talking about more on the Nidhi Sanji subreddit. They deleted any post mentioning it or alluding towards it. I heard they mass reported the original document and there's a link to the document there. I kind of observed the drama, but now nah, it's time it's ticking me off. They really are trying to save face for that quarter four report. You can because you're bigger in numbers. Please keep putting the Luka Kanashiro video or make a post about the doc on the Nidhi Sanji subreddit. And if it gets taken down, talk about it on all non related Luka posts. All, a lot of you referred to me, referred me here when my post got taken down and I appreciate it. But the sub is for people who already don't like and are informed about Nidhi Sanji's actions. A lot of people need to know about this doc and the main subreddit is best for informing people. I'll see there's a lack of conversation on it on social media, which makes it means it's working. I want to see it changed in the company, not people hiding stuff and doing their talents dirty. Of course, yeah, censorship is going is trying to, they're trying to censor it but of course it's not like a institutionalized censorship it's censorship by a group of people who love it and it's not going to work it really isn't going to work now moving on to japan japan is actually reacting to the luca post of course this is a japanese uh video and of course i'm not going to understand jack squat but here's like people reacting to it like this is looks like an ai person in japan who's reacting to the luca kanashiro post uh and mentioning all the things that were removed for the luca kanashiro post um throughout the niji sanji subreddit but yeah it is it is getting big it is getting big and it's interesting that there's an ai uh tuber youtuber upload of the videos any color self-inflicted enemy wow that was fast is there any japanese equivalent of putting up a chair and eating popcorn because they're doing that yeah, I'm permanently banned from RNG Sanji. Okay, uh, here's your second class medal. There we go. And yeah, people are just having fun with this, but um, it was a big mistake for them to do that. We already know about it. I've already made a video on, on it. Uh, False has already made a video on it. A lot of people are making videos on it. It is not going to disappear. It is going to only get more. And if they try to take down my video and they try to take down False's video, they try to take down other people's videos, it's a try sound effect is going to get worse because then people are going to post on social media. I know I would. And then, you know, it just gets worse and worse. Now, another thing that's happening is that you're trying to make Raziel uh, have be the bad person for Luka Kaneshiro sending her uh, pictures of IRL pictures of livers when he was hanging out with them. The one who's at fault here 
is Luka Kaneshiro, not her for even mentioning it. Of course, she didn't put them out there, so she didn't dox anybody, but they're trying to say that she's doxing people. This poster is low-key putting ideas in people's mind that Raziel may use these picks for blackmail or doxing unless she asked for those picks herself, but it looks like Luka was the one that sent it to her without consent from other livers. This person says, Raziel Warmanik, if true, has enough photos to dox NGN as well as parts of conversations with NGN management. For context about the dox part, allegedly Luca secretly sent IRL photos of other NGN livers to Raziel, ex mod, when Luca was hanging out with them, the livers. So that's more Luca's fault than Raziel's part. Worst of all, if the previous is true, the photos were taken and or sent without proper consent from the affected livers. Again, that is Luca's fault, not Raziel, because she never asked for it. He was the one taking incognito photos of other people who are livers in Niji Sanji, which isn't right if they don't have consent. Of course, that is a form of doxing. Nothing in the statements they've made so far imply that they want to dox anyone at all. I'm saying that if the document is true, then Raziel has possession of blackmail. It's not blackmail until it's used. It's just photos. It's not blackmail until it's used. Oh my goodness. I hate when people do this. I hate when people do this. It, it's just, it's dumb. It doesn't make any sense. Like I will show you exactly what blackmail means. This is what blackmail means. Blackmail is in action. It's action related to criminal offense, de demanding payment or other benefit from someone in return or not revealing compromising or damaging information. She's never done that. Uh, verb, demanding money or other benefit from someone in return for not revealing compromising or damaging information. She hasn't done that yet. So she's she has material that could be used in blackmail, but she's not blackmailing anybody. She doesn't have possession of blackmail material because she hasn't had the desire to do anything for blackmail. Just letting you guys know that that's just a lie. Bro, if they're mad about the Oso possibility, then they should be mad about the Doc site Nidhi sisters used instead. Everything is there. I don't know, maybe I'm channeling a tiny part of say-so that is part of the Hololife fandom that I like. This might be more of a case of an idiot who doesn't realize what he's implying than actual malicious, malicious ma manipulation. Either way, it is grounds for a person to not just post. Well, that was effing fast. He removed it. The person that did it removed it. Of course, because they were getting a lot of uh, comments against what they were saying. The doc site and a lot of sisters been trying this for months before and after the entire thing was to then happen as they always try to blitz people from Hololive and then someone starts to circulate the identities of Niji Yen instead to make them as if Holo fans are doing it. Also, nope, I think the photos are proof of, of that happening and can be sure as recipes in case they try to push something. She may be having it. I mean, this is just my my assumption. She may have just kept them because, you know, in case if someone uses it, try to use that against her. Keep it as proof that she was sent them, not that she asked for them. That's what you do a lot of times when people are accusing you of things. You keep certain things there and you will, of course, redact certain parts. But um, you keep it just in case if someone is saying, oh, she asked me for these things. It's like, nope. Here are the receipts. You sent them to me without me even asking about a dang thing. That's why you keep those things in some cases, not because you want to blackmail, but because you want to protect yourself. An ex liver apparently saying Niji is the best before every job interview is seen as a good thing. On the other hand, on this part, this is what I'm reading. Yagu, Yaguruma Rine has mentioned how Niji members genuinely have an effed sense of finances because of how well paid they are. That ex member Akichita Minami has a practice of chanting Niji Sanji is the best before every job interview for personal peace of mind and has been experienced expressing an interest in joining Niji again because she's sick of working. So she seems to have been treated well despite being a small and early gen member. Akina mentioned that he that the company is way too nice to him because they didn't reprimand him at all. Uh, Despite how he disappeared for eight months with no formal announcement of a hiatus. He's probably, I don't know. I don't know about this one. Hoshikawa also mentioned that the majority of the members she knows has sued before and that any color's improvement in taking care of the streaming environment and protecting members from slander has made it a lot easier for her to live. I guess they mean suing for slander against other people. She also once talked about how she delayed her own debut by six months because one, she couldn't be bothered to mail back the contract she signed, and two, she nagged at the staff for months about how unsatisfactory she found the initial outfit draft for her model was and pestered them until they got one of her exact liking. So it sounds like she gets away with it, with a lot. And that may be it. If you get away with a lot, you're going to like your company. If you're treated like the golden child, like Luxium is, you're going to like the company. You know, if you're treated like the way Selene, Pomu, and others were treated, you're not going to like the company. Uh, a lot of livers, when they leave, they're surprised that people can actually be nice. They're surprised that companies can actually be nice. They're surprised at a lot of things that you would think if the company was so great, why would they be surprised that, you know, like for example, Matara Khan saying that managers actually treated her nice and actually wanted to help her out and wanted to get things uh, moving with art and everything to get her uh, debut going and to get any kind of project for her going. 
She was surprised at that, which means that Niji Sanji isn't the best out there. So I don't, don't know how about you, but constantly saying another job was the best before trying out for a new job strongly implies that sort of brainwashing. So normally people don't hype up their old job just before trying an interview for a new one. Yeah, they give them tainted Kool-Aid is my guess. And, you know, the Niji Sanji, some of, some of the Niji Sanji livers are, are really do believe that they can really do nothing better than Niji Sanji. They can be no better than when they were in Niji Sanji which is, like, I guess, brainwashed in that sense. Where it's supposed to get deleted. It didn't. It's still there. And yet, ex-livers call it a prison. Yeah, sure, if you're one of their favorites. Exactly, like I said. Well, if you're a favorite, no matter where you are, any company that you're in, if you're the favorite, if you're you're the teacher's pet or whatever for your manager, your CEO, etc., you are going to feel good and you're going to enjoy the place that you're at. Of course you are. Dragoons rejoice. This one is a little bit of an interesting one. Of course, there is the Scars Cup coming up and uh, a lot of big you know youtubers are in there vtubers like tokoyami toa we have other big vtubers like lam it looks like um yeah a lot of big vtubers and youtubers japanese youtubers and who do we see there we see doki bird the bird the tomato in a skin suit is doing well she's getting in a lot of apex tourneys lately and because she has a lot of goodwill on her side doki bird aisakura hello live vispo neoporte v shinsengumi no contestants from the jail Basically, no, no Aniti Sanji contestants. They weren't invited, it looks like. Yeah, and Doki be doing a good amount of Apex journeys lately. Oh no, EA is losing Aniti Sanji's favor. Anyways, so yeah, this is just a bit of a short one, just reminding you that yeah, Doki Bird's going to be doing another uh, collab kind of tournament thing with uh, the Scars Cup. I hope she does well. She's a pretty darn good uh, Apex player, but so is Toa and a lot of other people who are here. So it's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be on april 5th of friday 2024 so if you're interested in taking a look of course it's probably going to be all in japanese because i think all these people are japanese vtubers and youtubers so just still take a look and a reminder to all of you who do understand just like i do niji sanji isn't the best place while uh it says right here know the difference kura sanji asked 70 or more dollars for a 2d edited concert with no refunds while cover rents an entire castle so that the one gen can have a proper 3d environment for the uk tour and here it is the colors one they removed and edited, you know, Selen from there. They removed Pomu. They removed Nina Kosaka. They removed Mr. Rias. And they're charging 70 bucks for the AR Live. No refunds in case if you were looking for any of them and they're not there and you got it before that. There are no refunds for that. They said that in one of their Nico Live um, posts. Also, Dunda's Castle is what Hollow Live actually rented out so that Gen 3, which is Pekora, Noel, Flair, and Marine can do a 3D live, can do their 3D concert there, their 3D stuff there. It is insane. That is a company that is actually supporting their staff, actually supporting their livers, actually giving support to whatever they can. And I am fully glad that they that these four are a part of that organization. And I do feel bad for the people who are part of Nidhi Sanji who aren't getting the support that they deserve. Because every liver who's a VTuber who is not abusing or not uh, blackmailing or not doing any of that type of stuff to someone else deserves good treatment the real question here says who's looking after the monkey pekora's monkey let's not forget pekora has a freaking monkey she has a monkey a bush baby and pretty much uh, she, that bush baby needs to be taken care of i think she's probably going to be at, at peko mama's house all of pekora jp kohai's take turns jill doesn't need no sitter jill has a day job at niji sanji <laughs> oh no oh no don't don't put don't put jill there i don't know it's actually a legitimate question probably a friend or family member is probably gonna, going to peko mama to be honest with you imagine if riku wanted to do something like this riku would send her livers their livers to the spanish town in japan the one they did a collab with uh nah riku would send them to his yacht Cover rents a real castle while any cutter will rent a bouncy castle that slowly deflates. Yeah, this is just a stark comparison. Like a stark just contrast. There, this is the AR Live. While it is something that they worked hard for, the livers themselves, Nidhi Sandy's going lazy and just pre doing a pre recorded thing that was done last year and charging 70 bucks for it this year. While Hollow Live is renting a whole freaking castle. There's a difference. And this is something based on what I had when I said uh, the background of Nidhi Sanji's evil, the Nidhi Sanji evil background document. It was the one that had uh, also Sayu's apology, where I talked about Himimori Luna and the pain that she had to go through in Nidhi Sanji. Um, she had debuted in 2018, but the model imposed on her by any color did not fit her and did not make her popular. And she was apparently despised because uh, she was felt to be at the bottom of the Nidhi Sanji cast, which makes sense now that we know a lot of things. In the midst of, of all this, the Niji Sanji community in its infancy, the original sin of current Niji sisters and the other ugly Niji believer communities pushed her off the cliff to the retirement. Tachibana, who is still a prominent figure in the Niji believer community, played a major role in Niji retirement by insidiously slandering Luna, 
who was Moriru at the time, by saying that her stream was less interesting than other livers and that she would be better off if she quit. And this is what she said here. This is this is the actual live thing that she put there. Um, apparently, the voices to stop Tachibana were weak, indicating that Niji community had been distorted since that time. Moruru was dismissed in Niji as an incompetent bottom liver with no talent whatsoever, a form of exile by the warped Niji followers. So she was seen as a talentless person. And she was abandoned by Niji livers, by Niji management, by Niji uh, orbiters, by people like that. Six months later... Moruru reincarnated into Luna is the only instance of Niji reincarnating into Hollow. I don't know of any other one that does it, so it was just Luna that did it. Since she started her career at Hollow, she has developed many hidden talents that were not exploited during her time at Niji, such as a reaction talk and working with Ozara Subaru. She's, she did the Ozara Subaru thing. I think it was uh, Elizabeth or some other thing. She was a horror game. She almost broke her back on that one. It is not so much Hollow's mo environment as it is Niji's foolishness in discarding her as a bottom of the cast incompetent and allowing her to sandbag her mindless followers. With her soon-to-be million, Tachibana, who has her cornered, is still active in the Niji Believer community today. Because uh, Luna's almost at a million. How will this karmic Tachibana and, and any cutter who left her alone, retired, and cut her off, look at how she went from being an incompetent with no redeeming qualities, according to Niji Sanji, at the bottom of Niji's cast, to a princess who can follow a million Lunites? Yeah, she's... She does like, I think she even has her own uh, keyboard by Yamaha, I believe. Ah, any color. Always too busy fishing for the next Gura, tossing pebbles aside while Cover just picked up the same pebbles and found a diamond in the rough. Yeah, Cover seems to have a lot of luck with pebbles. <laughs> They're talking about Koseki Biju right now. feel like Yago could do something incredibly funny soon. Uh, the only thing I disagree with OP is when you say it's not much of a hollow life environment, but environment is everything. When environment is positive and friendly, you're inevitably growing in your personal skills because there's less mo moments you spend honing them instead of spending your energy and sanity basically dealing with an additional problems so when it's a good environment you hone your 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 best your best stuff your best part of you and are not dealing with stress drama whatever Luan is of course an incredibly talented entertainer she just needed to good place an opportunity to polish those said talents and Edi Sanji which has proven many times toxic environment was not that place it is um, really like Yamaha, like I said, <clears throat> the Yamaha, the Electone. She has her own design of Yamaha Electone, which is basically like a, it almost sounds like a uh, digital organ. It's like an actual, you know, like the pipe organs. It's that, but like in keyboard form, from what I understand. This is a, uh, her, you know, her as Moruru. And yeah, that's just, it's sad that it happened with Tohime Moruluna. She's doing very well today. She will continue to do well. She will continue to be the amazing person that she is. The Lunites will love her. And she has nothing to worry about anymore because I don't think this is going to happen to her again. And if it if people try to harass her because this is now coming out to light again, Hollow Live will take care of it. I have confidence that Hollow Live will take care of it. And she will be the amazing princess that all the Lunites enjoy. Thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate it. Comment down below if you have anything to add, any kind of comments that you want. Of course, down below is also my social media and in front of you is uh, a video that you want to watch. Join the Discord if you want to have some fun times and just chat with other people. Thank you. Bye-bye.